Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one. Oh, God! Plague doctors, but instead of having a wooden stick to examine patients and defend themselves, they use one of these bad boys. Oh, stick it with your time, yes. We strive to be an actual Tumblr that shows up in PMZ Moore's videos in r slash Tumblr, but the fact that we're always on Discord doesn't help. I'm guilty because I get these from the Discord server. Inflatable toast mattress. Does it come with butter pillows? Okay, is anyone reading the description? Allow me. Breakfast in bed? No, breakfast is the bed. Sleeping on this giant six by seven inflatable toast mattress is likely to make you dream that you are a pat of butter and you are floating down a river of freshly brewed coffee. In reality, you should not use the inflatable toast mattress as a flotation device, nor should you expose it to excessive heat. This piece of toast is made of plastic, not bread. So if you wake up and smell burning toast, you are probably just having a stroke. 169.95. Add one to the cart now. Do it. Some creepy pasta from 2011. And the cartoon man had hyper-realistic eyes, and everything was red. Me at age 12. <gasps> Walks into the toy hall. Hey, Barbara. Barbie. I told you not to call me that. Michael Minerva, how have you been? Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We've talked about this. Well, I was today years old when I realized Minnie was a nickname for Minerva. Notice! Due to the lack of cicadas so far this summer, I will climb the trees and scream in their absence. You really think you could replace them? You really think you would sound half as good? How dare you stand where he once stood! Imagine your OC. Just imagine. So is it a thing in American English to use Texas as a word for, like, something that's out of control or chaotic or, like, is crazy? Like, that party last weekend was totally Texas! Because that is a thing people say in Norwegian, and I think it's important for Americans to know that. This is the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, what? This is the Texiest shit I've ever heard. Exports you as a JPEG and turns the quality way down. Help, help, I'm being compressed! No matter how much you plan and plot and research and prepare, you will never actually feel ready. You might as well just jump right in and do the thing! Upon reading this, I feel like I should specify I was talking about writing and not murder. Me, anytime a sex scene takes place in a show or movie. Ugh, this is literally the most unnecessary thing, can we not? Fuck this, I want swords, this is boring shit! Oh, baby, just wait till I start wreaking havoc in this Trader Joe's. Gonna wreak so much havoc, cause some drama in the pasta aisle. I don't know, punch a cantaloupe, maybe, for being a bitch. Every culture has their ethnic donut, and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough. Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is that they got, and they make that into a sword. Coincidence! I think not! Ah, the two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food and danger murder sticks. I'm not a hippie! I'm a vegetarian human rights activist taking step towards being 100% environmentally friendly. Oh. This is like that one post where someone said they weren't entitled and then described themselves as entitled. Except the opposite. Imagine if trees gave off Wi-Fi signals. We would be planting so many trees, and we would probably save the planet, too. Too bad they only produce the oxygen we breathe. My dearest beloved fuckos, is a fun, gender-neutral way to begin a speech. See also, esteemed bastards, gentlefolk, ferals, domesticated cryptids, and my fellow yees and haws, wife is purging in an ant. Do any day, suddenly the contractions start. Can't, won't. I'm, haven't, don't, is it? She says. Doc, it appears the contractions are worsening! The nurse says. In between breaths, the wife gasps and screeches. Y'all did <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Don't call him that. Leonardo da Vinci! In this world, it's milk or be milk. It's really not. Don't. Lanos? Lanos. Oh! Flanos! I hate it. Had to label the old trash barrels so the collectors would know how to take them. And so the trash barrels became trash themselves. Take us away, boys! This should be the last post on Tumblr before it's shut down. Take us away, boy!